Today's lesson is going to be about ratio tables. Okay, a ratio table is a way that we can um, solve problems that are involving ratios. Okay, we can write out equivalent ratios into a table and we can create new ratio, uh, equivalent ratios that way as well. So the first thing that we're going to talk about actually is really, it's called a double number line. Double number line, okay? And it's called a double number line because you're going to be writing or drawing two number lines right um, one right above another okay so here I have a number line that starts with zero and keeps going and another one right underneath of it that starts at zero and keeps going so let's um, try a problem with this double number line it says on a cruise ship five lifeboats can carry 300 passengers use a double number line to find how many lifeboats can carry 1200 passengers okay so it's kind of like we have a ratio of five lifeboats to every 300 passengers all right, so we're going to draw a num double number line. So we're going to start and we're going to have this top one is for lifeboats and the bottom number line is for passengers. Okay, write values on the number lines by adding quantities in the original ratio of 5 to 300. So here's my original ratio. I have five lifeboats to every 300 passengers. Okay, so I want to try to get to 1,200 because I have 1,200 passengers. I guess that they're going to be on this cruise ship. So what we can do for our ratios is I'm going to add this in the same increments. If I start with five, I'm going to add five. I'm doubling it. I'm going to double five for my lifeboats, and I'm going to double the 300 for my passengers. Okay, so as long as I'm doubling this and doubling that, I'm going in the same increments. So another five, another group of lifeboats would be 10 lifeboats. And another group of 300 passengers would be 600. Well, I'm not to 1,200 yet. Okay, so let's do another group of five. Another group of lifeboats gives us 15 lifeboats. Another group of passengers would give us 900 passengers. And then I'm going to add five again because I didn't get I didn't get to 1,200. I'm going to do another group of lifeboats, adding five, and I get to 20 lifeboats. And I might add another group of passengers, which is 300. I get to 1,200 passengers. So here's the 1,200 passengers that I needed to get to. And to find my, qu my question was how many lifeboats can carry 1,200 passengers. So how many lifeboats that is, is 20. I can have 20 lifeboats. 20 lifeboats will carry, will carry 1,200 passengers. Okay, so let's try a problem on our own. So here, we have a double number line of dimes to dollars. So zero dimes is zero dollars. 40 dimes is four dollars. How many dimes are eight dollars? So we can use the same strategy that we used in the last one. Well, I can add another group of dollars. I started with four dollars. I can add another group of dollars, add four here. And I can add another group of dimes, add 40 here. So 40 plus 40 is 80, 4 plus 4 is 8. So 80 dimes equals $8. So $8 is the same as 80 dimes. Okay, so we're adding that same amount, we're adding that same quantity that we had. Okay, let's take a look at birds to fish. Okay, birds to fish. It looks like for every 80 birds, there's 200 fish. For every 120 birds, there's 300 fish. So I'm going to kind of look and see. I'm looking for this number here. So it looks like I'm going to have to get smaller. I'm looking at my pattern. I have zero. I have 100, 200, 300. So these look like they're going up by 100 each time. This is going up by 100. This is going up by 100. Over here, I have from 80 to 120, and I have something to something here. So to get from 80 to 120, I could subtract and see what the difference is. That's 40. So I had to add 40 to 80 to get this way. So that means I also had to add 40 over here. So what number plus 40 equals 80, or I can subtract because I'm moving backwards. 80 take away 40, that gives me 40. So 40 birds would give me 100 fish. And my ratio is staying the same, 80 to 200, 120 to 300. Okay, so when we're 
working with double number lines, we're just going to keep adding that same quantity that we had at the top and adding the same quantity that we had at the bottom.